So yeah, yeah, you're okay, you're okay. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. If you enjoy videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates, definitely consider subscribing down below and then dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads because I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Friends, if you guys have been following my YouTube channel for some time now, you already know that I have a strong passion for a particular species of skink native to Papua New Guinea. That is the Tribulonotus gracilis, commonly known as the red-eyed crocodile skink. If you haven't seen my videos pertaining to that breeding project, check out the link up above. But otherwise, I want to quickly say that if you're not already familiar, I have produced a decent amount of these animals and if you're not also familiar these animals are fantastic parents not in the sense of feeding their offspring but they're actually known to manually incubate their eggs moving them around the enclosure or environment to ensure proper relative humidity and air exchange and on top of this they allow their offspring to live with them until they reach sexual maturity or close to it so the one pair I have that is the most infamous, Sunny and Sappy, actually have at least three babies, for sure. And it's quite possible there's more of them. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, don't you do anything with them? And the thing is, besides dropping food in, I don't really mess around with them because they're fine, they're safe, and they live with their parents. However, this topic of today's video is that we're actually going to be venturing into this enclosure to see exactly what is going on because I keep finding eggshells out in the open, which tells me that more babies are hatching, and I've seen the oldest animal in there that is just about a year and a half old now, and it's starting to get a bit darker. Maybe a little bit of the orange face is fading, which is the first step before they develop the red coloration around the eyes, which leads to sexual maturity. So I want to just kind of assess how the babies are doing. I don't like to disturb these animals, and as I've emphasized in other videos, I don't handle them. But we do, of course, want to monitor how the animals are doing and make sure that they're eating and healthy. I do a lot of tongue feeding, as you're already familiar with, because, I mean, I have a training video on how to train these animals and tame them. And I've been doing that with the babies as well. A lot of them are receptive to taking food off tongs, which is super awesome. The idea of training, or sorry, conditioning these captive bred babies to be receptive to feeding off tongs from such an early age gets me so excited thinking about what the future holds for when they're adults. So I think what we'll start with is feeding them. So that way we get to kind of interact with them and see maybe Sunny or Sappy, well definitely Sappy, will come out and accept some feeding. There's one offspring. So I usually like to lure them up onto the filter here, just because it's kind of a cleaner platform for us to view them eating. So as such, let's see if anyone would like to come. Here comes Sappy. Happy. I've been doing this thing with her where I, I get her to climb up my hand for prey. And she really doesn't seem to mind. It's kind of wholesome. Crickets in. The little guys are on the hunt. Just so you know, there are plenty of smaller crickets in the enclosure. Oh, someone else has one there. One of the younger offspring, it looks like. Again. Oh, you got one. Good job, buddy. Sorry about this sort of shaky camera. It's pretty hard to get these angles, to be honest.
Okay, so while everybody's down there enjoying dinner, I'm going to be taking it upon myself to start uh, cleaning the enclosure. So I'm moving the pothos here. We're going to be replacing the filter cartridge that's in this filter. Alright, so I'm just going to take the lid off the filter here and pull this cartridge out. I knew it! So, we actually have one of the babies hiding in the filter right now. I've seen that this guy hides in here before so this is actually Sonny and Saki's oldest offspring as you can see here starting to get the faded face but they're still only about a year and a half old so that's like their favorite spot to hide in the filter I mean the water's off now so they went all the way to the bottom but yeah their little hiding spot so let's get them out now I've put a container aside and I'm going to put all the offspring from Sunny and Sappy into it so we can check them out and make sure they're healthy. It should be interesting. So red-eyed crocodile skinks actually have vocal cords. So they are able to vocalize and make noise. You okay little munchkin? You're okay, you're okay. Let's get some cover in there for them. I just put a cave in so they can... Yeah, yeah, you're okay, you're okay. There we go. Okay, where were we? Yeah, that filter's disgusting. Holy macaroni. No wonder it got clogged. Okay, so if you guys saw my video from like, I think it was February 2020 or so, we had a filter completely clog and I think the motor burnt out in it. And I ended up having to actually replace it, ironically, with this one. It seems that the same thing may have happened with this one now. So we might have to go to the pet store and buy a new filter. Okay, so filter not looking so hot, um, but for now we'll go back in here, get the rest of the babies out, and uh, then we'll figure out the situation. I'm going to gently try to remove this wood. I also want to say I haven't really like removed the animals from this enclosure since they went into it. So kind of shows you or tells you how I really don't mess with them at all. Okay. Where are you? Okay, the root of the pothos is in there. No. Pretty sure we're good. Ugh. Gross. I think it's time to get to the other side of the enclosure here. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I've kind of moved all the pothos out of the way. I think most of the offspring are hiding under this wood along with the adults so carefully going to lift the wood up and check on everyone here okay here we go so this here is good old sunny the male He's nice big head on him. He's a beefy, beefy boy. We don't get to see a lot of because he's always hiding. You can see the broad head on this animal. If you take a look at his legs, you can see how the animals are sexed by those little pores or scales on the inside back legs. That's how we sex the males. So let's go ahead and gently take him out and we will yeah, he's a very nice looking croc skink, good size. We'll move him into the enclosure with the other offspring. So it seems as though the rest of the family is playing hide and go seek with me. There's a few babies over there. Sappy's just like in the water now, I think. So it's gonna be fun getting them out of there. Sunny's just over here. All right, let's see what we can do. Hi guys, come here baby. Hi there. This one is finishing up a cricket. I'm gonna gently take them and put them in the enclosure with the adults. You're okay, buddy. Don't. He's like, what are you doing? I got my cricket. Sorry, buddy. 
just so you guys know, this is quite possibly the first time I've, or second time I've held this particular uh, offspring. The first time was like months ago. So, but yeah. Anyway, we'll put them to the enclosure with the adults as well. I think it was just the three. So we're gonna go get Sappy out now. So far, everyone looks super healthy, which is wonderful to see. So Sappy right now is actually uh, submerged in the water. She's trying to hide from me. Sorry, girl, I don't wanna stress you. So here is beloved Sappy. You okay, girl? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's get her in the enclosure with her family. All right, so we're gonna go grab one of those filters and then we should be ready to go. Might grab some lunch as well. Stick it back in there. I got a lot of the silt out. Give it some time to, you know, clean the water a bit or at least remove a lot of the particles and uh, get the animals back into the enclosure. But we'll take a good look at them too. So it should be good. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all, what is the most unique experience you've had interacting with one of your pet reptiles or amphibians? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thank you. All right, guys, don't mind my reflection. As you can see, the water has cleared up significantly. It's just gonna be like that a little longer, but once it's gotten going for a while, the water will be pretty well clear. So we can go ahead and get the wood and everything back in here and put the skinks back. Okay, everybody, so here is the family. We have the oldest baby here. We have Sappy here. Sunny is right there. And then the two youngest offspring are here. And you can see that the one in the front is a little smaller than the other one. And that just kind of shows you how slowly these animals grow, considering there's actually 75 days of age difference between these two animals on average. So. As you can see, they're all very healthy and happy. This guy has an insane amount of sass, I gotta tell you. They're all doing really well, so we'll move everybody into their home now. That is, uh, that's pretty wholesome. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and move everybody into the enclosure now. I guess we can start with this one. Our little guy. You okay, you okay. So as you can see, this baby is very healthy. Nothing wrong with it, has all its toes. Oh, okay. And uh, down we go. All right. Sappy, would you like to go next? She's a beauty. All right, there you go, girl. Ah, she's huge. I think she is carrying an egg, hopefully. Okay, Mr. Sonny. Look at this handsome boy. You ready? Go ahead. You don't want to come out now? I gotta tell you guys, it's really nice to see this boy just because I don't get to see him all that much since he's so shy, but he's he's a real healthy animal. All right, go ahead. You know where to go, yep. Go home, buddy. 
All right, guys, so last but definitely not least, we have the two little babies. So as you can see, both animals are very healthy. Let's go ahead and put them back in the enclosure. Go the wrong way. Hello, little friend. And the last baby is right here. So this is the middle age, not middle age, but the uh, second oldest in the family. There we go. Go ahead, buddy. You don't be scared, you're all right. Here, go, go down to your family. There you go. Perfect. Alright everyone, so there they are. As you can see, everybody's doing wonderful. Well everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this little update where we checked on Sunny and Sappy and their little crocodile skin family. Yeah, sometimes filters burn out and honestly, I have some of that silt to still get out of there because it could end up being a problem again. But this is the type of maintenance we deal with when keeping these sorts of animals, especially when it comes to paludariums. In any case, thanks again. If you guys wouldn't mind doing me a favor and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, that would mean so much to me. And it'll kind of help the video get to a wider audience so more people can learn about these incredible animals. If you'd like to support this channel further, I have my Patreon where you can become a patron for as little as $2 a month, link down below, as well as my merch store. Other than that, I sincerely hope you all have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to see you all for our next video on Friday. Take care, everybody.